President Obama visiting the West Bank today, insisting the U.S. is not giving up on stalled peace talks in the Mideast. Mr. Obama speaking at a joint news conference with Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas, saying the Palestinians deserve an independent state. The only way to achieve that goal is through direct negotiations between Israelis and Palestinians themselves. There is no shortcut to a sustainable solution. We are ready to implement all of our commitments and obligations and to respect the signed agreements and international legitimacy resolutions in order to provide for the requirements for launching the peace process and achieving the two-state solution. One major sticking point, the continued building of Israeli settlements in the West Bank. Mr. Obama addressing that issue, saying he told Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu it was not constructive and did not advance the cause of peace. Mr. Abbas insists the Israeli government must stop settlement activity for peace to be achieved. You know, the politics there are complex, uh, and uh, I recognize that you know, that's not an issue that's going to be solved immediately. It's not going to be solved overnight. Meanwhile, as the commander-in-chief talked of peace, rockets from Gaza, which is under Hamas control, were fired into southern Israel. Israeli President Shimon Peres says he believes the rockets were an attempt by Hamas to send a message during President Obama's trip to the region. Peres says these type of attacks make it difficult to continue the peace process. Terrorism lacks reason and lacks purpose. The U.S. and much of the West classify Hamas as a terrorist organization. Chris Foster. Fox News.